better and more informed and uh, more libertarian, more anti-globalist. Uh, and to now see your TV show be a huge hit, I certainly hope it gets picked up uh, for a second season. But as you've you know said many times off air, uh, you know you don't know until it's picked up, but it certainly should be. And everybody needs to do their job to spread the word about the show. But we salute your spirit of liberty. And as Mark Twain said, in the beginning, a patriot is a scarce man, hated, feared, and scorned. But in the end, the uh, timid uh, join him because then it costs nothing to be a patriot. And so a lot of uh, timid people are joining the ranks thanks to your leadership, Ron Paul's leadership, and so many others. And, uh, Governor, have a, a well-earned uh, extended hiatus in Mexico and uh, surfs up. Have fun. Thank you, Alex, and keep up the good work, man. I don't know how you do it day in and day out, but keep, keep talking and keep disrupting the system because it's the American way. We'll yeah, do it, man. and... And, you know, and I want to between all of us, we won't let the country die. Thanks, Alex. Have a great winter. You too. Take care. All right. There goes Governor Jesse Ventura. Did I do the Mark Twain quote right? I did it right on CNN. In the beginning, a patriot is a scarce man, hated and feared and scorned. But in time, the timid join him because then it costs nothing to be a patriot. Did I, did I say it right the first time? Yeah, in time, the timid join him because then it costs nothing to be a patriot. And uh, Jesse Ventura is the real deal. He's not perfect. I'm not perfect. None of us are perfect. But let me tell you, I know what's in this uh, production piece. I've seen large segments of it. And I've, uh, because last time I was out in L.A., a month ago, they were still editing it. So I haven't seen the finished product. And uh, it's powerful. I, I mean, this is not Michael Moore banging on doors. This is Jesse Ventura doing it. And... Uh, I believe Luke Radowski's in there too. We are change. I mean, it's certainly in the footage I've seen, they are. I don't. I don't know if they're going to be in the finished, finished thing that, that's done and, and uh, airing uh, tomorrow. And uh, who knows what Time Warner's doing with their hands in there? Uh, but uh, you know, the establishment. I, I I've had reporters the last few weeks ask me, you know, why they think this Jesse Ventura show is actually going on air from our perspective, and. It's really because the establishment has lost all credibility. They're losing viewers. They know that the general public wants to know about the New World Order. And I think by putting it on True TV as entertainment, they know it'll get ratings. And they just think that, well, the public's already awake. The U.N.'s admitting world government. Why deny this anymore? And I think that's what's happening here. You know, I have been pitched so many television shows. I have been asked to fly to New York, asked to fly to L.A. I have been involved in TV shows. I have shot pilots with huge production companies and then seen it not air. Seen it not air. And uh, so when Ventura's people are asking me to be a consultant on this and also be in, uh, I'm the only person that appears in multiple episodes, Four or five, they're still they're still editing some of them. Uh, so coming up in, in the next two weeks, I should uh, you should see episodes I appear in. Some of them I'm a large part of, other parts just a consultant, and you see me introducing Jesse to people. Uh, but um, it's just good to see it get on air. It's like the Wall Street Journal came here and was going to do a cover story on me, and I said this will never be printed. If this is not a hit piece, this will not be printed. And I said, did you find what you were wanting? Did you find the dirt you wanted? And no, not really. You know, you don't come in here and open a closet door and 45 skeletons fall out on the floor. Things have to be invented about us. And it, it really can't be done. Because you judge a tree by its fruits. I mean, how many people have we woken up the New World Order? How many times have we been attacked by mainstream and alternative media and even government entities? A lot. And that's why I always challenge listeners. Don't get caught up in the infighting, the COINTELPRO, the disinformation. You know you're good. You know you're a patriot. You know you're awake and aware. And so instead of ninnying and spending all your time debating different radio hosts or filmmakers or patriot leaders, chief among them myself, spend your time warning people about the carbon tax. Spend your time warning people about state 
victim disarmament gun control bills and federal victim disarmament bills and treaty, the, the gun control treaty with the U.N. Obama says he's going to sign next year or blanket open borders and amnesty that will bring in the North American Union and further bankrupt us or forced inoculations and how dangerous the vaccines are, warning people about the history of vaccines and the mercury and the cancer viruses. We're going to come back with the winner of the Berlin Film Festival a few years ago. This is just par for the course of the type of short films that are shown to little kids, teenagers, college students. The whole cover of YouTube is our future is being decided at Copenhagen. Almost every video on the front page is pro-global government, pro-tax links. I want to launch an initiative today. I got Texas Monthly here interviewing me for a, what they say is probably going to maybe a cover story. <laughs> um, but I'm going to try to do several YouTube videos today, today, that I really, about Copenhagen and all the fraud that's come out there and the latest on ClimateGate. But I also want to do one calling for people in the next week and a half while Copenhagen's going on, the establishment of world government. They're calling it the most important meeting in history, the declaration of world government. I'm calling on everybody to make their own YouTube videos, everyone. I don't care if you're not eloquent or if you are eloquent or if you're mediocre. Just get up there, point out issues. We need thousands of videos flooding YouTube. YouTube has more video views than all other video sites combined. Sure, it's controlled. Sure, it's manipulated. Sure, it's bad in many respects. But it's where the fight is with this Schmidt character that owns it, pushing world government and promoting tyranny. We need to take YouTube over and counter their propaganda and make videos about how they're engaged in a bunch of propaganda. Because they're whining and screaming and yelling, all the controlled corporate press and the Fortune 500. They're all redoubling. I mean, I've been watching the news, and I can't believe how mindless and base and ridiculously off the chart. If I was going to make a science fiction movie about a a science fiction dark satire movie about the ultimate propaganda state, I would just go point cameras at Copenhagen and show that in the movie. I mean, they got giant billboards with little girls saying, please, I don't want to drown. And images of polar bears saying they're all dying. They're almost extinct. When they've gone from 10,000 in uh, the Arctic areas to over 45,000, their numbers are exploding like cockroaches. And they're showing films at Copenhagen that tell school children they're all going to die. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And this video coming up shows humans as a disease spreading across the globe and then blasting off in rocket ships to infest the galaxy as a disease. No, we're not a disease. Jesse Ventura is not a disease. Ron Paul's not a disease. Martin Luther King's not a disease. Leonardo da Vinci's not a disease. We are an incredible species who can produce amazing art and passion and love and honor and creativity and ideas. And the globalists know that, and they want to have a control over society and control over information to dumb us down so they can control future, so they can control the destiny of humanity. We have to wrest control over the future of humanity from these people and let humanity really make the decision what we want to do from there. That's why I don't like football and, 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 and petty stuff, because it's issues of no significance that don't matter as we're on this planet hurtling through intergalactic space. That's what really matters. And awaken. You don't have to agree with me. Just awaken. Wake up. Wake up. There's more to the world. You have a mortgage and a load of other debt. Wouldn't it be great if it all just went away? No more mortgage can change your life. We paid off all of our bills. All your debt, including your mortgage, in as little as nine years. With no more mortgage, we will have saved over $313,000 in interest payments. Even have more money left over each month? It lowered our monthly payments by a little over $500. No more mortgage. <laughs> Where have they been all of our life? If you knew about something like that, you'd want to tell everybody. Whenever I have a friend 
or someone that needs this service, I give them the number. I'm Larry Ruff, president of No More Mortgage. This is unlike anything you have ever seen before, and it will absolutely not harm your credit. Call for your free CD. Learn how you can eliminate all your debt, including your mortgage, much sooner than you ever dreamed possible. The more debt you have, the more we can help. Call for your free CD now, 800-578-6279. This works. Call the number. Call now for your free CD, 800-578-6279. 800-578-6279. 800-578-6279. 800-578-6279. 800-578-6279. 800-578-6279. 800-578-6279. 800-578-6279. 800-578-6279. 800-578-6279. 800-578-6279. 800-578-6279. 800-578-